Hello and welcome, you beautiful people. Muscle, magic, and muscles is pretty much what you'd get if you took Harry Potter through JK Rowling in the trash where she belongs, abandoned what little sense the Wizarding World still had left, and gave Mr. Potter massive biceps so that he could flex his way out of every situation. Unsurprisingly, it's really not that great. Okay, that might be a little harsh. Marshall sets out to do one thing and one thing only. Be funny. And yeah, it manages that pretty damn well most of the time. Aside from the general level of idiocy, there are really two things to take away from the show. First, cream puffs are the single finest source of nutrients ever, and on a diet consisting of nothing but these balls of divine nectar and some frivolous exercise, one can achieve the physique of a god. Oh yeah, and there is no greater power in the universe than your quivering oiled abs, and even the limitless potential of magic pales in comparison to Mash Burnett's physical fitness. Essentially, the entire point of Mushle is that Mush must become the greatest student in a magical academy, except he cannot use any magic, and instead opts for his mighty pet in order to simply flex his way through a myriad of magical challenges, including but not limited to scaring the enchanted text to submission, simply walking through a magical maze by breaking its walls, and kicking so damn hard that he can even fly a broom, and in a good knockoff Harry Potter style even becomes the de facto not Quidditch champion of his school, all with the power of muscle. And top of it all, the inability to use magic, aka being different, in this world is a crime punishable by either exile or death, so Mash must make sure his secret doesn't get discovered, which is easier said than done, as the society as a whole has been conditioned to shun and report such pariah. God damn, this magical society is sounding more and more like ch- <laughs> Ignoring real evil totalitarian regimes and societal issues, let's get back on topic, shall we? In the world dominated by magic, Mash Burnett is the one and only meathead around. He is the good-hearted idiot with ludicrous amounts of power. The man is in fact so strong that most challenges become trivial when faced with his simple but effective ability to hit really, really hard. And if that made you immediately think of Saitama from One Punch Man, but with hair, yeah, you'd be correct. That is exactly the character archetype that Mash is going for. But here the detachment from reality is turned up even higher than Saitama's, while other aspects like power levels are similar but less extreme. Mash is the one that doesn't fit anywhere in the world he inhabits, but he also doesn't care as long as the world leaves him in peace. He is mighty, but not a god, and his ability to comprehend reality predominantly consists of friend good, cream buff better, and anyone or anything that threatens either must be persecuted with extreme prejudice. And this kind of simple view of the world is where most of the humour stems from. Want to get sorted to a house by a legally different sorting system? Well, too bad since the magical unicorn can't decide based on your hopes and dreams when the only thing in your head is cream puffs, get challenged to a race on brooms when you can't fly one, fuck it, just run and win anyway, need to make a potion with ingredients that in no way, shape or form can ever create a cream puff, you guessed it, cream puffs. It's really not very complex, but it also doesn't need to be. Martial Magic and Muscles is supposed to be a simple, dumb comedy that doesn't do anything particularly clever, simply because it doesn't have to, and if that was all there was to it, it might not have been any better than it is, but it also wouldn't be as irritating at times as it ended up being. Simply put, towards the end of this first season, the show tries to be more than it actually is, as the story makes an attempt to get serious about how flawed the system in Marshall is. Sure, the societal issues of everyone in power being an elitist asshole is a general theme throughout the whole run, but as things progress further, this unfortunately starts to take over from the comedy as the prevailing theme. Sidelining the one thing the show had thus far really built up. The lightheartedness gets pushed aside by edgy backstories and even edgier character design, all of which is trying to be taken seriously, and just ends up being totally unnecessary. And unfortunately, it means that sometimes it feels like the show has no true identity to speak of. It really just runs through different personalities, never fully committing to any of them, and the further you get, the worse it becomes, until at the end of season 1, it's just a hot mess that can still be funny at times, but fails to have that same humorous, lighthearted approach to everything that it started with. It feels like the story abandons the turning everything into a joke approach that made it so appealing as a dumb comedy in the first place, and instead that just becomes a dime in a dozen Friendship is Magic Shonen, where the Persona non grata main character ends up changing the way everyone views decades of indoctrination just by the merit of being a nice person and beating the living shit out of them. 
I mean, in Mash's case, it's very possible that the change in personality is due to severe brain damage the opponent has suffered, but it's still a tired old trope that the show could have done without. The entire appeal of Mashal, outside of getting you interested as it parodies a popular franchise, was that its topics were always dark, as it delved into the deeply exploitative system of society where your value and rights as a human being is purely based on your largely hereditary magical abilities. But instead of getting all serious social commentary about how broken society can be, it turned on its own system and rules and made it into a joke. Everything in the world of Marshall is based on might makes right, and that's exactly what Mash does in his quest to collect enough gold coins to become the Divine Visionary. He just doesn't use the kind of might society intended, which made it funny. And then it feels almost like the show is not sure enough of itself and starts inserting more and more tropes that push it closer to the great shonen template which most shows in the genre follow, instead of continuing to do its own thing. It was a square peg in a world of round holes, but instead of making its own square hole, it shaved off its edges and attempted to become round. And in the end, Marshall Magic and Muscles ends up not being a bad show, but neither is it a good one. It just kind of is. It had potential, but at the end of the day, everything from how the events turn out to characters all the way to the art style and animation is barely good enough to a point where it's possible, but not even a little bit above that, and the humor ends up being the only thing that pushes the show even slightly above the grey nothingness that is just meh. All in all, it's a 6 out of 10, just barely above mid. I went in expecting funny haha, and I got that, but irritatingly, there was also tons of unrealized potential that was never utilized, and instead buried under overdone shonen tropes seemingly in an attempt to not take too big a risk and guarantee at least some success. If you're feeling like brainless comedy, it's not a terrible pick if you've already seen all the better options, but I wouldn't go out of my way to watch it either. But do let me know in the comments below what do you think of Marshall Magic and Muscles. Did you agree or disagree with my verdict? Is Marshall just the thing you were looking for or did its unrealized potential bother you to no end? If you like this, like it, dislike it. If you didn't, subscribe for more anime goodness and check the links in the description if you want to engage with me outside of YouTube. Thank you for watching, I've been Cheese and I hope to see you next time. Ta-ta for now.